Gates back and away they go. Lady Invictus very slowly away. Salamanca City also very tardy from the gates, as indeed was Dibble Dabble as they went make their way through the early stages of the Unibet. More extra place races. EBF Maiden, Philly Stakes and Star Music, the market leader from that good draw. The blue and white colours has taken up a pretty good posse. The private getaway, the green with the blue sleeves. Big white face of Carmarthen tracking across from a wide draw, followed then by the white and green colours of Alonzi. Then the purple of Sighter up the inside. They're then followed towards the outer by high handed and then orbital the blue cap then gas yar and then after that we have golden arc in the predominantly green jacket there then followed by rudy 2d right up the inside rail then golden arc followed then by the white and orange colors of uh, dibble dabble there then followed by alica breeze salamanca city is still towards the rear of the field and lady invictus is very much the back marker swing for home three furlongs left to go star music just about the leader Carmarthen from a tricky draw has moved alongside though these two go stride for stride there then followed in third by Private Getaway, who's now passed by Alonzi, then sighted towards the far side. High-handed is trying to burst through the yellow cap. Down towards the closing stage as they come. Furlong and a half left to go, and Star Music has slipped the field here. She's gone on by three or four lengths. Gassiar staying on from the back, then Private Getaway, followed by Sighter. Nothing much else from the rest as they go inside the final half furlong now. Star Music, she's well clear, and racing up towards the line, gets off the mark at the third time of asking. Star Music, easy peasy. Gassiar finished in second, Private Getaway was third. Salah Manca City, after a slow start, could well have stayed on for fourth. Welcome back. Got uh, James Doyle as we reflect on what looked to be a very impressive performance. Uh, you were on board. Tell me all. Yeah, well, I, I was lucky enough to ride her first time at Salisbury and I thought she, rode a, she, she ran a lovely race. We were caught back in the field a little bit. F first day at school, wanted to teach her plenty and we got a little too far back and she kind of ran a bit green under pressure but hit the line really strong. So I was very pleased with that run. Then she went to Newbury. It was a little bit of a mess. She got squeezed out early and six furlongs. She got back a bit and just, you know, struggled to kind of get involved. Um, but today, up to seven, um, this track suited her. I think a bit of ease on, on turf wouldn't, wouldn't be a bad thing for her, but she, she's definitely taking the right steps going forward. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, have just a bit of fun. <laughs> loads of fun, I'd say. She's yeah. just miles the best horse there tonight and um, hopefully she'll be able to kick on. And you've been kicking on. Great weekend, uh, warm heart, fabulous yeah. stuff. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it was lovely to sort of ride her again. Uh, very thankful to all the guys for um, letting me have another go on her. And, yeah, she did it well. She was very brave. It, it didn't go 100% smoothly, but she was much the best at the line. So, yeah, it was nice to have a willing partner on the day. Uh, delighted for you. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Cheers.